So d can it, does anyone think we definitely have 10 of them now? Do you reckon that was number 9 or number 10? I still just hate the fact they don't tell you when you got the 10th one. They only tell you when you got the 11th. I still think that's really dumb. But we're about to find out, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, let's find out. A couple more minutes to know. I bet it's the 9th. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Place your bets now, whether it's number 9 or 10. We're definitely going to make sure I'm not going to farm for another one of these encounters now. Let's go, Kimmy. 16,875. What a legend. <laughs> luck is going to luck. All right. Get Walker back out. Wait, why am I doing that? It's not near the end yet. Keep going. Nice crit. Yeah, the regen thing has been nice. It stopped us needing to heal. Saves a little bit of like animation time and resources and stuff. See there now. All right, let's find out. Is it number 10 or number 11 here? Number 10. There you go. Surely that's number 10 now, though, because you see, this is that awkward situation where you're like, wait, is that was that number nine now? There's a chance it could have been number nine. I'm pretty confident that's 10. I'm going to say that that's 10. I think that's 10. Even if it isn't, we, we can just sort it out later. So let me do it. You got a buzzer beater as a drop. Let's check some of these drops that we've had. Uh, I did have a quick look through some of my stuff and sell it before this session started. SS Overdrive, SS Reflect, it's empty stuff. Nice. Ooh, that's nice. Like, the sheer number of spots as well. Zombie touch. Yeah, some interesting stuff for sure. I think from here I'm going to move inside. Um, I don't think there's anything that's exclusive to the outside bit that we need. I think we should be fine. So, again, what I'm going to do is just basically hang around this part and just kind of get back out there uh, to save when I need to. I think I should encounter everything here anyway. Now, for this one, uh, what's the best way to do it? First of all, I know that they are susceptible to um, Demi, but this is already a dangerous start. Can someone remind me, is this a Omega Ruins or is this... Um, or is this Inside Sin? Anything that's Omega Ruins, I'm just going to deliberately skip. I think they get affected by smoke bombs. Yeah, they do. Um, let's just make sure. I think it's Omega Ruins. Okay. We'll, we'll take this one on anyway, just so we have one. But next time, I think we'll skip it. Anything that's not Inside Skin... Inside Skin? <laughs> Final showdown with Skin. Uh, we'll skip. So we'll do that. I was going to say skip. I said skin. <laughs> uh, okay. He always reminds me of spam. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's inside sin. Yeah, someone's going to need to check. But I should generally be careful here. Um, just keep out my stoneproof people. I don't know who's got stoneproof. Let's double check. This one's going to be an, a, an awkward capture, I think. See you later, Edward. Thanks for hanging out. Dark death. Okay, at least Auron does. That's good. Um, I 
does Kimari have? He's only got a ward. I should equip it anyway, though. Yeah, it's a pretty high rate of affliction, that's the problem, but... Just trying to think, are there any other good ways for me to damage this guy? Mm. I think Holy would do good damage against it. But you won't be able to swap back out. So again, th with this one you need to be careful, like if you do anything too rash, uh, you can get game over pretty easily. Can't he be provoked? He probably can. When in doubt, always throw in a provoke and see what they do. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I'm poisoned, but I'm still just going to go for it anyway, just to see what happens. No, there's your answer. No provoke available this time. Yeah, I think threaten does work. Um, who has threaten? Does anyone remember who's got threaten? Is it Orin still? Or is it Kimari? Hmm. Anyway. I don't think sleep works. Um, Darkness is one of the only ones I remember. I remember Doom working. Like, if you just need to kill it, uh, you can, like, kind of Doom it. But, yeah. Demonolith is inside Sin. Yeah, they appear inside Sin and Omega Runes, but for the capture list... Uh, which one does it count as? That one I don't know. So I'm trying to see if we can develop a strategy that's kind of safe and quicker to, to capture this guy, but I don't think we have the best items for it. Ah, the monster arena is inside Sin. Okay, that means we do have to capture it. So that's... Uh... But Breath here is a bad one for us. And obviously getting countered constantly is, is a problem. Uh, can you give him a Phoenix Down? I think you damage it with Phoenix Downs. And I think it should be damage capped, right? Let's see what happens. Nope, can't do it. It's been a while since I've needed to capture these guys, so I forget what he's uh, what he's weak to. If you silence, he can't counter. There you go. That's That's something I remember. So we can use, I think we have silence grenades. Let's have a look. Who makes these things? Yeah, that's a good quote. So let's have another look now that it's Oren's turn. I wonder if Silence Silence doesn't disable breath, I'm pretty sure. So I think this is what we can do to it. Um, but I think we're going to get probably double petrification here. This is just not a good... Um, not a good combination for us. But it is armor broken at least. Yeah, so breath still comes in. This is what I mean, it's just dangerous. But yeah, I think putting the silence on and then silence armor break and then just go for it, I think it's probably still the best uh, combination here. Yeah, so we have two stone proofs in this one and a stone ward, so I think we just go for it when we're like this. I think it's worth a chance. Okay. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, that's one demonolith. I think for this one, we won't shoot to capture uh, 10 of them. If we've got 10 of, like, let's say, uh, the Barbatos, we won't stay there because we've got the Omega Ruins anyway. So one thing I want to do... Yeah, he does have Stone Ward. Um, I want to... Because we get gifted uh, Petrify Grenades as a reward, we're going to lose uh, what we already have. So I think I might customize a Stone Proof for Waka here. Mm. Maybe just stick it on one of these. Ah, oh, I've only got two? What? I swear I stole some. Damn. I thought I'd stolen Petrified Grenades at this point. Maybe I already customized one and I forgot. So much for that. Fair enough. We have to make do with Stone Ward. Oh, he does have a Stone Proof. Okay, this is good. 
Okay, that's pretty good going. We should be fine. Okay, so here, I think what we're going to do, we're going to try to capture um, 10 of the Barbatos and we'll use that one as our main kind of metric. Do we have 10 of these? Surely we do at this stage. Okay, catch you later, Rhoda. Out. So I just want to confirm that we already have 10 of these guys and then we can skip this one too. Yeah, the Barbatos is definitely one of the ones that generally just takes longer. Yeah, thankfully so far I don't think we've encountered anything that's genuinely dangerous. There's enough tools there with uh, the items that we have. Okay, so we still did have another one to capture. Fair enough. The Barbatos is the only one that remains that could give us a problem. Behemoth King we sorted out um, pretty easily. Aha, there you go. This is the customer that we were after. Now... This one, again, has some, some funky mechanics that we need to be careful of. Um, do you know the amount you've captured? Uh, I know we've captured like 10 of everything up until Inside Sin. I checked that before the session. But I don't want to go there and basically uh, trigger off all of the rewards and stuff at the moment. So I'm going to kind of do it in one go. So. Um, where do we start? I wonder if just for the first encounter is worth doing a bit of this, just to be safe. We're definitely going to armor break, but I think it counters with a with a dangerous move when you armor break it, possibly. So I'm just trying to make a few extra preparations before we do that, just in case. Uh, Yuna has to armor break anyway, not Oren. So we should be able to get a big demi here. Nice. Um, so with this one, we've just got to be careful. I just need to see what it can do in this first attempt, and then we'll hopefully be quicker for subsequent ones. I'm just trying to respect it. We've managed to avoid death up until now. And I intend to, to keep it that way. Okay, let's bring in Yuna for a quick armor break if we can. But her agility is quite bad. You can see the CTB difference there. But we need the armor break, so I'm going to get it anyway. Yeah, so Mortar comes in. This is how you can die. Oof. That's why I put Shell on in advance. So it will counter when you try to, to armor break it. That's why it's a dangerous enemy. Now, I don't remember if it's basically immune to everything else. We can run a couple of tests here just to see if it's immune to that. Uh... Yeah, just really mean moves. Not taking any chances at the moment. Yeah, so not sure what else we can even really do here in terms of items. Let's see if we can poison it for some extra damage. Nope. So, yeah, as you can see, it's just generally not the easiest enemy to deal with. And we have to capture 10 of these. Good times. Let's try and Sentinel, see if that helps. No, Mortar again. Yeah, Oren doesn't have Shell and he took 1,600 damage. Basically, you've got to be careful from getting like double Mortared or something like that. So 
So I'm just generally going to burn through some Albed potions here just to make sure we're safe. Yeah, the problem is I don't. I'm not sure you can dodge um, body splash, and you definitely can't dodge mortar, and they're the two I think biggest problems. Yeah, so it does mortar now. I think this one was a counter. No, it wasn't. Okay. I don't know if there's a chance you can counter attack and then do a body splash like immediately afterwards. That's also very dangerous. Just a difficult enemy. But I think next time I will try to provoke. Yeah, I was just about to. S I just saw um, Law's message now. I think the next one we will provoke, but at least we got one in the bag. A difficult customer. Uh, yeah, next we will try provoke. I don't know if Yuna can withstand the onslaught, but we'll see. I don't remember what Provoke does to it. But yeah, that's the first one. These guys we need to capture. Yeah, Evade Encounter would have been nice. I don't have one for Yuna, unfortunately. Yeah, Bar Barbatos Encounters are just a pain. I think Provoke might be the better shout for next time. Damn, Nick joining in the, the gifting membership bonanza. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a good day to, to catch a live stream. <laughs> Basically everyone who watched who wasn't a member already pretty much getting a membership today. Love to see it. thousand I think we'll give it one more and then start attacking well armor rate first yeah, everything just has so much HP it's still hard to wipe it out And seven loops. What console am I playing on? I'm playing on PC. I'm playing on Steam at the moment. I basically almost exclusively play on Steam nowadays. So I can't remember the last time I played on PS4 or PS5. The fact that I even said PS4 is probably a clue. Yeah, I was going to say, Nick, like, you're a Final Fantasy IX guy. It surprised me when I saw Final Fantasy VII loops. <laughs> but has he changed allegiances? Uh, dream Powder. And this is why we've been trying to steal all of those uh, Dream Powders early on. Especially in Mount Gagazette. Who's got, like, the normal haste? I think it's, like, Titus or something. Oh wait, Yuna has it. Might as well just do this, honestly. Get more demis in. Could you recommend a good handheld to play this on? Of course. There's only one, at this stage, there's only one good answer, and that's the, the Steam Deck. The PS Vita 2, if you want um, if you want something truly like pocketable, I would say the, the PS Vita. If you don't have one, there's probably used ones for sale. Relatively cheap. I think PS Vita and uh, Steam Deck are probably the the best options you have, personally. Of course you can play on Switch too, if you already have a Switch and you don't have either of the other two, then yes, but I think... I can comfortably recommend the Steam Deck and the, the PS Vita. Yeah, I'm pretty sure each of the Geminis are uh, individual, so you have to make sure you capture both and not like five of each. Does the Switch version have like the speed up stuff? I don't think it does, right? 
doesn't have like the extra goodies that the other versions do. Yeah, so I, I think for me it's still like that stuff just matters more, but I think for if you're just like gonna play it like now and then, like once, you're gonna play it through once and then probably won't play again for a long time. I'm not sure the, the speed up is that important. Especially for the story, you probably won't use it anyway. But I think um, I think if you're planning to play through, if you don't already have a Switch and you really want to play Final Fantasy X and you want to do like all of the, the, the post game, you want to stat max, you want to do a truly like complete feeling run, then the speed up is, is so good that I always have to recommend something like a Steam Deck so that you can still benefit from all the speed up. Wow. Okay, finally got one of these. Sheesh. I think you can catch these in twos um, in the Omega Ruins. So what's the deal with this guy? I think again we can Demi here. This one's not a threat, I think, in terms of what it can do. Yeah, you can play Final Fantasy 1 to 12 on the Switch, but you can basically play Final Fantasy 1 to 15, like 16 or whatever, like everything pretty much on uh, Steam Deck. So for me, Steam Deck is just, it's just the best. It's just so good. Can we silence this guy? That'd be kind of funny if we could. No. Then that'd be taking a bit too far. Immune to armor break? Oh, that's lame. I forgot about that. Shit. That's not cool. Okay. Let's uh, get some big damage then from Holy. Yeah. So since we can't armor break, it's not a it's not a friend to uh, to capturing attempts. Let's see how much damage we've been doing here. Yeah, I think we should be able to just power our way through from here. One more attack. One thing I love about PS Vita is our PS4 remote playability, most useful when I Yeah, okay, that's fair. I think, was there a way to get remote play working on Steam Deck? I think I read something about that. Final Fantasy X on Steam is terrible for me. Some cutscenes are green screen. What a monster speed. That's really weird. I've probably played it across maybe five different systems at this point on Steam, and I've never had a problem. That's a really weird one. No, oh God. Okay. It's your boy. Now, uh... I still think... Hold on. Let's try this provoke. See what it's gonna do. Okay, it can be provoked and it just tries to immediately stomp. So, it basically turns into the same fight as the Behemoth, which in this case is a good thing. But I think um, the counterattacks are probably still going to be there. It's still going to use Mortar. That was the wrong thing. Shit. I'm going to use the X Potion to make sure she doesn't die here. So, let's just get this set up correct and then we can move. Light Curtain. Okay. Yeah, big 23,000 damage there. Um, let's do one armor break. She's so slow that with an armor break, she doesn't even get to defend again afterwards, but... Okay. Let's make sure Yuna's full health. Seventeen thousand. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. We haven't seen the counter either. If it disables the counter as well, that's really nice. 
But I think for this one, instead of the whole trying to set up regen, for now, let's just feel like that. Wait, the armor braid didn't work? Ah, shit. Yeah, it has resistance, because Kimari is still doing big damage, I forgot, but yes. It can um, get away with it, but I think if we use a frag grenade, it will always work. We've also been picking those up while climbing Gagazette. Yeah, and again, it didn't counter, so that's a good sign. Yeah, that's better. I think Demi still will do good damage here. Yeah. Honestly, with how well Provoke's working, I might just keep Yuna on the front line at all times here. Seems to be better. Use high potions are a bit easier to get back. Am I doing experts, Figrid? No, I'm doing the, the standard one. Almost there. So yeah, Provoke was the key. Yeah, Kimari is strong because uh, gravity magic is pretty underrated in this game. Well, at least for random encounters. I think because basically every boss is immune to it, you assume that it's kind of shit. But um, high level random encounters, it really works really nicely. Might as well give her the half MP cost. I mean, why not? Yeah, that's the second Barbatos, so this is going to take a while. We still need some more of these uh, thingies, though. Exo rays. That was a bit mean. I think this is probably like five and six. We haven't had too many of these appearing yet. Surely Waka won't die here. Yeah, he wouldn't have. Okay, that's either number six or number eight. I don't know how many of them we've encountered. Okay. Nice. But we're going to find out soon if we've got all of them. I think so far, at least, uh, Demonolith has proved the most difficult, like the most annoying capture. And even that one again with Provoke is not too bad. The power of Provoke and Gravity is on full display in the capturing at the moment. Alright. Did we have 10 of these yet? Still not sure. I'm gonna use a quick frag here instead of waiting. Let's just go. Last one said captured, okay. So we either have like nine or 10 at the moment, so we'll see. That's a mistake. But I should probably still steal. I don't have... I'd like to have more healing waters from this guy. Waka's not quite quick enough to consistently get two turns against it. Those healing waters will definitely come in useful. Watermelon, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Okay, should be able to finish it from here, and hopefully this is number 10. I reckon that's got to be number 10, man. No worries, Mansoor. Thanks for joining us today. Take care. 
Uh, I started an hour and a half ago, so we're roughly about halfway through the stream. And honestly, it's looking like probably we're going to spend all of it just finishing up the, the capturing. Because this is only number three against this guy. Alright. So this worked really well last time. And now that Lulu's in the front line, we can still give her regen. We didn't see Mortar at all after provoking last time, which is a good sign. And we're going to use frag grenades instead of relying on Yuna and um, armor break, which doesn't always work. Uh, he would check out Silent Hill 2 remake for Halloween. There's a there's a definitely a good chance of that happening. A good chance. Uh, I have no familiarity with um, with Silent Hill other than obviously just knowing that it's one of the most iconic horror games of all time. Um, I think it could be one of those very controversial ones if they haven't done a great job with it. And so, because I haven't played the original, I wouldn't really know. <laughs> but, especially since it's coming out around Halloween time, it kind of feels silly to miss out. Because for years I've been, like, it's been three years now at least, uh, we've been doing, like, the Halloween uh, content. So I feel like with Silent Hill 2 Remake coming out, it would be silly to, to miss out. So, I think that's how we're going to, how we're going to do it. Yeah, we've got enough frag grenades to take care of business here, I think. We'll be fine. But yeah, that's another method. But getting back overdrive, I think, is not that easy unless you really have a specific setup for it. But I think this is working well. It seems to disable the mortar counter as well. We haven't seen it at all. But I'm pretty happy with it. And again, regen is holding up really well. Ah, sorry to hear that, Erica. The the allergies always suck. Thankfully, mine have been um, behaving <laughs> the last few weeks. It has been better. Okay, it's number three. And another Tetra Targe will take that. Even though we're not using Riku much, I guess uh, for high level stuff, her coming in and doing a mix or two could definitely be useful for us. 10, I wish. I wish. Okay, this one we can now skip. Have you captured any great Malboros? No, we haven't encountered any yet. Are they also inside Sin? Basically everything that appears here, I assume, like even though they share, like you'll meet them in the Omega Ruins too, I guess everything you meet here specifically must be in the Inside Sin capture list, even though they appear elsewhere. I think it must be one of those situations. So I guess that means we have to capture 10 uh, Great Malboros as well. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that's probably going to be the hardest capture, I don't know. But again, I guess we have Provoke, which should still help us, and uh, it doesn't immediately use um, Bad Breath here, I think. So I think we should still be okay. But we'll wait till we encounter one before deciding if we're going to be okay or not. Yeah, we didn't provoke yet, so the mortar came in, which is a bit annoying. Great Malbros are better caught in Omega Ruins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure the, the Great Malbro there is much more forgiving. Again. Yeah, just seeing that 23,000 damage is awesome. But yes, do not capture them in Omega Ruins, especially if you're uh, if you don't have like the right setup for it. Do not do the Omega Ruins version. <laughs> They're the ones that will always ambush you. So unless Dan is joking, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not correct. Uh, in Omega Ruins, they do ambush you. It's the ones over here that don't. Ah, so Mortar did come in. So I just I just got lucky last time. That's why this guy is so annoying. Like, he has Provoke. Oh, wait. I didn't use Provoke. Shit. No. Take back everything I said. 
yeah, as a rule of uh, chat, anything the rule says, it's the opposite. So just remember that. <laughs> so yes, now we did uh, provoke. I got a little bit lucky there, got carried away. But yeah, Carifian, just clear that up because there's been a mixture of joking and seriousness here. The the great Malbros in the Omega Ruins are the ones that always ambush you, right? So if you're trying to capture them and you're a bit worried that they might give you a game over, you should try and capture them in Inside Sin instead. Yeah, okay, there we go. So for anyone who's uh, confused because we've got a bunch of jokers in the chat, <laughs> I think that would uh, hopefully clear it up. You can always trust Carifian. Yeah. Yeah, I think Dan meant well, but it's just uh, it's understandable. All good. How do we know Karifian isn't joking too? I guess you never know. You never truly know. If you don't trust Karifian as well, then yeah, you you got to just look it up yourself. Dan, remember, just backwards. Yeah, well, that's that's what we'll call it. Yeah, maybe Karifian in his mod, he flipped it around so that when you come to uh, City of Dying Dreams, you think, ah, yeah, these ones don't ambush you. And they do. <laughs> Danny, what are you trying to do? I was trying to make it through one entire live live stream without that happening. But yeah, this one, I, I guess we still haven't seen the text yet to say that it's definitely um, all been captured. Yeah, two criticals in a row. We'll take that. Steal that healing water back that we used before. But 14 is still not a lot. I kind of should have got more. Okay, at least we confirmed we got all of those. Fun fact, City of Dying Dreams is the only place that they don't insta-ambush you. Even in the Tower of the Dead and the Monster Arena, there are forced ambush plus bad breath. Ah, okay. And, well, speak of the devil, let's see those Malbro emojis. <laughs> it is time. And this one ambushed me, right? <laughs> was This was an ambush, I was just looking at the chat while it appeared. But this isn't a forced ambush, this was just a luck ambush. Yeah, so now people are going to doubt Carifian even more now. <laughs> you got to trust us, man. I promise this was just luck. <laughs> That's funny. And well, even more lucky, I guess, that um, I had Yuna off the front line. What is even the truth anymore? Yeah, we're going to encounter at least 10 of them, so you'll be able to see what the, the truth is. We just need one of them to not ambush us. Okay. So, from here, we should be pretty much good to go. Only thing is we'll have to heal fairly regularly, which is a little bit of a resource drain by the time we take out all of this HP. Um... <laughs> we can't handle the truth. Oh boy. I guess again we can use Kimari. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use Kimari again here. Uh, I think that's probably still the best way. So we'll get Kimari out instead of Orin here. Yeah, this should still work. But the attack it does is basically like fixed damage, so you have to make sure you heal it, otherwise you'll be in trouble.
Uh... Yeah, it still takes a while, even with Demi. At least we're off the mark now with these soon. I'm just doing this to try and save some resources at least. I think this should be enough. Yep. So you can actually demi him. Yes, you can. Um, Adamantois is the only one that you can't around here. I like pistachio ice cream. Good shout. I had pistachio ice cream the other day, actually. Pistachio ice cream, though, is kind of hard to find, like, good pistachio ice cream that truly tastes like it. There's a lot that kind of just feels like almost like a fake flavor added afterwards kind of thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, no ambush. There you go. Whew. You can finally trust us again, hopefully. All right, straight in. <laughs> Creepy and the truth teller. That man is the truth. So yes, as I've been saying, this is the safest uh, spot to try and capture these guys. It's basically always going to give you enough time and enough of a chance to get your provoke in before a bad breath happens so you basically should never really be seeing bad breath uh, so it should be okay that's what you gotta that's what you gotta do if you want to play it safe yeah Eunice provoke is adorable I reckon like if Yuna specifically provokes enemies should do half damage just because it's Yuna I think that's fair At least up until the 1 in 101 chance for Provoke to miss hits you. But this one, um, theoretically, can this one ambush you and then still use Bad Breath as its first move? Or was there, is there like a counter thing again? I think it could use Bad Breath as its first move, technically, right? I have to remember to uh, leave Yuna out of the party, I guess, between, between runs. So I don't get burned. 33% chance, yeah. So that is the one danger. Uh, if you get ambushed just by pure chance um, and you can't like provoke in time then you'll be in trouble isn't it a seven counter yeah that's the calm lands one so let's swap lulu in and finish the job so it's still it's still a, a bit dangerous but let's just say in a normal game Tidus would probably have provoke anyway and so if you have Tidus in your front line and he has first strike while you're capturing, then there's basically no threat, so you'll be fine. But in a situation like this one, the only danger is if we get ambushed and uh, Yuna can't get uh, provoking, then there's a 33% chance you'll see bad breath. So for now at least, we seem to have some kind of strategy to uh, capture everything at this point. So that's what we were looking for. So as I say, worst case, I think by the time we get to the end of today's stream, um, whatever we've captured, I think we'll just take from there. And then the rest of them, I'm, I'm just going to hack in, I think, at this stage uh, to save some time. So I think that's how we'll do it. I think I want uh, this to be the final capturing session either way. Let's haste up Kimari. Because at least now we've kind of demonstrated a way to capture all of them. And I think that's good enough for now. Two, three, I think four really brings them down to size. 14. Okay, let's do another one after this. This is still quicker than hacking away, I think. Are you doing dark aeons and penance with their own grids only? I mean, we can try. I, I don't think I, I don't think I can. But maybe some of the dark aeons are possible, depending on the, the armor setup and stuff. We'll just have a look. I've never tried to, to do a run like this before. Uh, even just like a normal uh, own sphere grid run, I've never tried to do 
uh, Dark Aeons and Penance, so I don't really know um, what what's possible and what isn't and what the best approach is, so we'll see. That's partly why I wanted to continue, because it's going to kind of fuse together um, a challenge style that I've never attempted before uh, with the randomizer. Because the whole, like, own sphere grid thing, that's that's been another popular type of challenge for years, but I've never done that type before. So, we'll see. I think a lot of it is going to hinge on the armors, honestly. Um, and seeing what's what's possible to get. Again, remember to swap out Yuna. I'm probably going to forget at some point and get ambushed, but that's why I'm trying to save as regularly as I can. Yeah, either way, we're going to have fun finding out what's possible. Should be enough. Walker can handle that. I think these might be either 7 and 8 or 9 and 10. I think one of the reasons I didn't want to hack in the, the stuff was because I wasn't sure what we would get in terms of like guild and drops and that kind of thing. And I think by the end of this session, it's it's clear I'd basically have pretty much like a million gil, uh, including stuff I can sell, etc. So I think I don't need to kind of investigate that anymore at this stage. But unfortunately, um, armor break doesn't work. I forgot that. Someone mentioned Phoenix Down. Let's throw a Phoenix Down on it. Still misses. So Phoenix Down is not as broken as you might think. Um, like this is a like if you if you saw an enemy like this in say Fire Fantasy six or seven or something like that, you would imagine that some kind of um, you know Phoenix Down would do the damage. But in Fire Fantasy ten, it's surprisingly few enemies. I think. Does it specifically have to have a zombie status for that to happen? Like it has to have the the kind of the the purplish kind of breath for it to work. I think if you don't if you see an enemy that doesn't have that, then you can't. Um, yeah, then you can't use a Phoenix Down. So, yeah, it might be intuitive here to try and use a Phoenix Down, but it's, as you've seen, it's not going to help you. So, just a, a quick reference point for people there. <laughs> All of Spirits are dead. There you go. Ah, don't have any water spells. Fine. Yeah, it's kind of silly, really. I do think enemies like the Wraith should basically be undead. They should just be zombies by default, but... Yeah, they don't let you have it. So there isn't too great a, a method here. They're surprisingly tanky because they're immune to armor break. That automatically just makes things more annoying. Let's swap him out so he doesn't die. So we'll get there, but it takes a few hits. Griefian, any ideas for how to do quicker damage to this guy? Just other than Demi and Holy? I don't know if there's something I'm, I've overlooked. Yeah, they can finish it off. Well, maybe she can't actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think Waka can kill it and then die afterwards. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, nice. The battle ends instantly. Items, shadow gems, other gems, maybe. Yeah, okay, pretty much. We do have some Shadow Gems, I was generally saving it for the Omega Ruins, but um, the fight's not tough, so I'd rather not... I'd rather use it on a fight that might be difficult, but yeah. Okay, don't care about this guy. Okay. So first we silence grenade. Again, we've been picking these up as long as uh, as we've been going, just for these situations. Then we provoke. 
Oh yeah, no, wait, it wasn't provoke. It was just silence to stop the counter attack, and then it was armor break, right? That was the that was the strat. Trying to juggle like which one's immune to what <laughs> over the course of a session. Um, they just have so much HP. Forty-five thousand is beefy. Yeah, so breath comes in. We should all be protected. Yep. Um, I don't think they have armor break resistance. Yeah, we had our first encounter against them, Karifun already, and so I managed to, to prep that. But since we're going back to the save sphere, basically between every attempt, we can just spam things like Holy just to get some quicker damage in there. Yeah, unfortunately we're not close yet inside Sin, like it's just uh, everything takes a long time, unfortunately. I think. Yeah, with that critical, Auron can come in and finish the job. Yeah. There we go. I think that's only number two, but... <laughs> Can't you threaten them? I think you can threaten them. I, I just forget who has threatened. We can check next time. But honestly, if everyone's stoneproof, the, the breath move doesn't really matter anyway. Also, the good thing, if you're on Steam, uh, about capturing this way, uh, is that if you notice, well, I was just about to show something, basically you auto save every time you enter an exit. So let's say you forgot to save and you've been capturing for an hour and a half and then you died. If you're kind of constantly going back and forth, um, that also kind of helps to save. But obviously the reason you're doing it is to save in the first place. But just as like a general thing, uh, the auto save might save you a little bit of time still. Uh, let's say you were doing it to re replenish MP instead of specifically save. Um, that's also something that could be good. Auto save definitely a savior. I just really like the way they implement it in this game, where um, you literally have like 200 save slots to use manually, but then you also have your auto save slot. It's just perfect. That's why I always hate. Like I make such a big deal of games where they have like only auto save or like three slots or something like that. It's a pain in the ass, especially for content creation. It's it sucks. Does the Steam Deck version have the boosters? Yes, it does. It's 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 a it's a computer. It's basically like playing it on your PC. But yeah, it does. Um, I think you need to check like the mapping. Like the there's a certain way that it's mapped, or you can download like a custom uh, controller layout for it that can make it a little bit more easy access. So we must be getting close with these guys. Maybe this is 9 and 10, 7 and 8. But I think with them too, I prefer to just wear them down as much as I can with Demi. And then just blast through the last little bit of HP. And yes, I do have a video of Five Fantasy 10 uh, running on the Steam Deck. Alright. Get the, get the squad back on. Yeah, obviously Demi helps helps it to get down to like the six to eight thousand level, but from there you still kind of have to do it yourself. If you don't if you don't have uh, the MP because it's twenty five percent. So even after all those Demi's, we still need two good hits to finish it off. Oh, regen brace, nice. That probably has like four slots. But right now, the the status protection is the most important. So, okay. Nope. This guy, we are done. Uh, I'll quickly nab a steel before I go. I need to change the team up anyway. Keep forgetting um, Yuna in the front line. Right, so this should probably be the final set either way.
It's fortunate that the Fire Raga plus attack combo is enough for these guys. Oh, there you go. Okay, we already got it. Nice. Who has the most agility in this run? Good question. Let's have a look. I don't remember. I think it might be Waka. No. It's Tidus. Yeah, okay. It's Tidus by a mile. But his strength is so bad, he has the lowest strength of anyone in the team. <laughs> it's terrible. He does have some magic, I guess, but yeah, at 35, it's not the best. Yep, this encounter we can escape. Yeah, obviously that's still one of the, the best things about the randomizer. Obviously, changing the script. Normally at this point, Titus is, of course, still one of the strongest um, characters in terms of strength. Hey, Marco, good to see you. Hope you're doing okay and enjoying your time in Italy. And I'm hoping this is the final set of these guys. That would be nice. Try and get as many of these captured as I can before we finish up today. We've got about an hour left to go. I'm going to do my best, and then we'll see kind of what's left. I think we'll be pretty close. And then I think for Omega Ruins, um, I'll probably like go in and capture one of each thing just to see like the, how to capture them. And then from there, I'll probably um, just try to get to the end of Omega Ruins. I'm not going to spend, I think, time like grinding monster capturing in Omega Ruins. So I think I'll do it a bit differently. But I do want to at least try because obviously there is a difference between just kind of killing them by any means necessary and trying to capture them but um, I think that's how I'll do it. The Barbie Toes encounter dried up. It did, yeah. We got like two of them or three of them pretty quick, but... Every time you leave the Sphere, does the encounter RNG change? I think if Karifian's around, he can answer that question. Hey, Roger. Um, I've got about another hour or so. Hour, hour and ten minutes, maybe top, something like that. It does not. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, that stuff doesn't work. We just... Do a bit of this. Yeah, this place is far from a Barbie world, I have to say. He probably wishes he was in a Barbie world. There's no... I guess she... Uh, uh, no. That doesn't work. Let's get walk in anyway. <laughs> Five fancy nine twenty. Thank you for the donation, Nick. That's more like it. That's more what I was expecting in terms of uh, the message. Hey Alicia, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I thought the, the stream would be over. No, we're, we're good. We're still... It's the usual time for me at least from uh, 1.30 to 4.30. Yeah, I'm going to make like a 24-7 Five Fantasy 9 stream just for... For Nick and Princess Magical. It'll literally just be like two concurrent viewers, just those two. <laughs> I think that's the end game. Have a 24 7 stream for every single Final Fantasy individually and then make them compete against each other and see which one truly is the greatest. I'm not going to do that. I've debated the idea of several 24-7 streams before, but I, I personally don't like it. Um, I think part of what makes the stream 
strong and the fact that why it's lasted so long is just that it's still like a one nice like singular place for all of us to to kind of to hang out it doesn't split up the audience and stuff so i prefer just having one stream and try my best to do it right um i think that's that's still my preference so yeah i'm not gonna change that anytime soon 